I'm going to introduce a new concept which is available on our general tab in the palette called an event and the purpose of the event will actually now be to update this timer of ours to actually say alright but how do you actually update this value called timer I want this timer <clears throat> because these events can actually um, be triggered either at a specific time, a point in time, only once, or cyclic. Um, it can also be triggered at a, at a given rate, either deterministic or stochastic, or at a specific point in time if some condition, condition actually occurs. In my case, I'm going to use the timeout as a trigger, but I want it to actually happen cyclically. And I want to update the timer first at time zero, and then at every half a second. So I can either say 0 0.5 seconds or I can say 0 0.5 times second um, and using the model's time units. Right, so what action should actually be taken? I'm interested to only update the variable timer if my machine is operational. So to achieve that I'm going to start with an if statement and to check whether my conveyor, my state chart, is actually in operational mode, I'm going to use the functionality available in the conveyor. And if I press dot space, I'm going to use the method available to me for the state chart called is state active. I need to provide it with a state description. It will then check whether my state chart is in that particular state. It can either be a simple state such as stationary accelerating or I can specify a composite state such as operational and then it will check whether it is in any of the internal states. So I'm going to use that method and the state that I want to evaluate is my operational state. So by executing that entire um, expression it will either tell me yes your machine is operational or not. If it is not I'm going to add an else statement to actually say then I want you to clear the timer. So set the variable timer to zero and I'm going to close my else statement. All right, that is if the machine is not operational it shouldn't even look at the timer the timer should be set to zero. If however the machine is operational it should now check whether there are still anybody approaching. If anybody is approaching it means it should disregard the timer and reset it to zero because it cannot even consider decelerating. To check whether the state is um, sorry to check whether anybody is actually approaching I'm going to add another if statement and actually say check variable approaching. If it is greater than zero, it means somebody is approaching. Then I want you to reset the timer to zero. Whoops. But else, I want you to increment. the timer variable by half a second and I do this 0 0.5 addition because I am checking this timer every half a second. If I made the recurrence time one second I should add accordingly one second to my timer value. Right so to recap it will check whether my conveyor is an operational state. If so it will check whether anybody is approaching. If somebody is approaching, it will reset the timer to zero. But if nobody is approaching, it will increment the timer by half a second. If the machine is not operational, it will reset the timer value to zero. Now we just need to specify what should happen in these states, accelerating or decelerating. And for that, I'm also going to use events. First event, I'm going to call
accelerate I will use it cyclically again but here I am going to work in let's say every 0.1 seconds and what the accelerate e uh, event will do is it will check whether my conveyor is in an accelerating state and if so it should increase the speed so I first do a check if the conveyor has the following state active state accelerating if that is the case then increase the conveyor speed by one unit if not do nothing I'm not even going to add an else statement I need not because I don't want anything to happen if my conveyor is not in acceleration mode similarly I'm going to add another event called decelerate it too will be cyclic it will check every 0 0.1 seconds and check those spaces are simply there in terms of my style of programming you can ignore them if you want to so if it is in state decelerating it should decrease the conveyor speed and I'm going to use the functionality available in Java the minus e equals means deduct from the same variable sorry not deduct zero but deduct one so decelerating means decrease the speed by one unit and now I can just review my logic if I'm in stationary I will stay in that state until the variable approaching conveyor starts having a value greater than zero and we'll see in the logic later when that actually happens then it will move into state accelerating which will be watched by this event called accelerate it will keep watching every 0 0.1 seconds to check whether the state has actually changed and if it changes it will start increasing the, ver the conveyor's speed uh, by one unit it will keep on doing that until the next transition checks that the conveyor speed is greater than or equal to the maximum conveyor speed which is a parameter that we've set and then it will transition into state running at which point it will keep on running until some variable timer value exceeds the threshold parameter which was which we called also parameter timer and if that happens it will start decelerating which will trigger this event which says decelerate to keep on watching all of the time and as soon as it moves into state deceleration it will start deducting one unit from the speed of the variable conveyor speed it will keep on doing that then until the variable conveyor speed reaches zero which will then trigger it to move from state decelerating to state stationary in practice as we mentioned in class it is possible for this conveyor to actually move from decelerating directly to accelerating again and that might happen if it decelerates it hasn't become completely stationary um, it actually picks, picks up that there are people um, involved we might actually add that while we're at it so the condition transition 
let's call it restart will also be a condition and the condition here would be if variable approaching conveyor is greater than zero again it will so it will check now for two instances two possible transitions just 